Hey guys, shout out to Chris Fix here. Today, I'm gonna to be working on this cute little model, Miata, generation one, 57,000 ridge miles. And today with me, I have another cute model working with me, Mina. I'm Audio Lovin', let's get cracking. sequence when we get ready. So you notice that that's only six to seven foot pounds and you know the feel of it when you crack it loose? Yeah. Because our torque wrench doesn't go down that low. So I'm going to be doing it by touch. It's okay. aluminum, so. There you go. I don't smell bad. Oh well, yeah. This car is so good, folks. It makes you cry when you drive it. But we don't like weeping head gasket, or I'm sorry, valve cover gaskets. So once I saw the weepage, it was time for this brand new Felpro kit. Start cracking loose. So there'll be some uh, spark plugs, boots to take out of the way, and they really only go back one way, so. Go ahead and spin some of those out. That's one in the back, where my fat hands barely fit in there. Mm -hmm. There you go. I got this compadre out already, 12 millimeter. I'm going to set that to the side. We're going to inspect the timing belt while we're in here, Pumpkin. That's right under the front portion of this. Just inspection. We're not going to get any oil on there. And if it looks like it needs to be changed, it's going to be a whole other video. <laughs> right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thank you to O'Reilly's for having this in stock and not charging us shipping. So, it's a blessing to have the right part. I felt pro. Go ahead, see what you can do. Ooh, that's pretty. Try not to touch the uh, timing cover or the timing belt. Yep, and you can set it down on the cardboard right there. That's what I put the cardboard there for. Ooh, that yeah, timing belt looks beautiful. Cam gloves are just beautiful, not even scored at all. We're gonna clean down the surface. Go for it, Pumpkin, you do your side. It's sharp. All right, we cleaned up the valve cover a bit. Look for any damage or any problems. And of course there's nothing, only 57,000 miles on the car. That was the original valve cover gasket. Um, so, got a nice Felpro going in there. That's cool, got a lot of experience with this stuff. So, will come out very nicely. No broken bolts, no strip bolts. Nothing but success and blessings. <laughs> All right, we got a pea-sized amount of the gray good stuff on the inside of each one of those cam uh, corners. And Little Pumpkin's going to flip it over and put it on. sequence. So I'm only going to tighten it about three to four foot pounds first. That's two. And then we'll keep uh, continuing around the same sequence. Finishing up, the Pumpkin Princess is going to put the uh, air intake tube back on. 
And we've greased all the fittings. We checked the spark plugs. They're all beautiful shape. We put dielectric grease on the plug boots, the plug ends, and where the plug wires go into the distributor. And the, the gray silicone or the gray um, gasket stuff has been drying this whole time. Should be safe to fire up and we're done. She likes to work without the gloves I have because they're too big, but uh, what a great assistant. I also cleaned a little bit of soot off the throttle body. It wasn't nothing to speak of and did a little bit of a beautification in the engine bay. I mean, not a lot to do on something that's only got 57,000 miles on it, so. Anybody wants this car, shoot me a message. <laughs> it's a Gen 1, unmodified. No power options at all, the lightest one possible, 1994. Thanks for watching.